Hi, this is Nyla Jane Autry. I am with Laura Freeman at Art Art Oddity. And we're having fun. So this is going to be step two of transferring the grid X pattern that you've already drawn onto your canvas. And if you're watching this, you've probably already watched part one and drawn your flower. So just a quick review. We did a, a black and white print of the tulips that we're gonna paint. We did the grid X pattern and you have um, enlarged it onto a piece of tracing paper. And so this video is about what's next. So you've got your drawing all done. Um, I went through last night and made my lines a little darker, mostly for the camera so you can see them better. You don't absolutely have to do that, but it might help. So what I've got here uh, is a canvas and um, just, just FYI, these are my favorite canvases. They're cradle panels. I like to paint on wood much more than canvas. I like the texture. I like everything about it better. So, you know, that, but you know, I've been painting a long time and I'm pretty particular. So you don't have to be a canvas will work just fine. Um, and then I need a little piece of tape and notice that my picture fits the canvas because we planned ahead right there, right? Okay, so we're doing working on a nine by 12 canvas. Then I'm going to get a little piece of tape and I'm just going to make a hinge right up here at the top, okay? And fold it down over the side. Make sure it's nice and firm. I don't want any more tape. That's it, because we are going to make a sandwich now. This is um, transfer paper. There's a, a lot of different transfer papers now available, which I think is wonderful, because when I first started using this method, it was really hard to find. So one side is darker, and as you can see, the other side is lighter. You want the dark side down, because that's the side that's going to transfer an image. If you do it wrong, you'll transfer the image to the back of your tracing paper. And you'll go, oops, and then you just have to do it again. So we hope that doesn't happen. So I'm just making a sandwich. I don't even have to take the transfer paper down if you're working flat, which I do for this part of the process. Um, I just make a little sandwich and put it in there. I'm trying to make sure I cover all my areas, though. But the transfer can be moved, and it won't mess up your drawing. What do, you don't want to have move is this. Okay, so one little piece of tape up here is a hinge. And then I like to have a colored pen that works because when I, this one isn't very complicated, so it, it's not that hard. But if I'm doing a big complicated one, I need to know which lines I've gone over. So if I trace it with a pencil, I don't know where I'm at, and I forget to trace some things, or I trace them way too many times, and it gets too dark. Okay? So it doesn't really matter where you start. Um, I'm going to start up here. And I like, just a side note, I like these gel pens really nice for transferring, partly because they work well. But I always get the medium tip, because if you get the really fine tip on a gel pen, it will tear the tracing paper. So I like the medium tip gel pens. And then I'm just going to trace it. And of course, my gel pen's not working because I'm on camera. And I want you to stop and check before we move on. So I'm going to just lift this up, make sure I'm pressing hard enough, but not too hard. You don't want to leave a dent in your canvas or something. So you kind of have to get a feeling in different tracing papers. Some of them are really kind of gray and light and the transfer paper and some of them are darker. I've got the darker black one and I'll show you why I like that the best in a minute. Okay, and so we're going to trace the entire image. And I am going to trace the entire image while you're listening simply because I have to show you the next step. An easy mistake to make is to trace the grid lines. Please don't trace the grid lines. The whole purpose of this is to not have grid lines in your painting. I used to grid right on my canvas and then draw on the canvas. And you can do that, but like yesterday, I was photographing some of my older work. And when the naked eye can't see the grid lines, but when I got the sunshine on it and took the camera picture and took it in to edit it, I could see the grid lines. That's what made me remember, oh, now I remember why we do it on paper first and we transfer it. You know, you may have shaded your grid pattern to help you figure things out. I do that 
a little bit still quite often actually a little bit of shading and that's okay but you don't you definitely don't need to shade on your good pattern I do like to identify some shadow shapes when I'm drawing especially if they're really important shadows like this is actually the shadow of a petal that's under this petal see why there's a hinge if you tape it all over the place you can't hinge it like I said if this moves no big deal now I didn't grid I didn't draw the on the grid all the flower all the leaves and all the stuff in the background if you did then it will just take you a little longer to get the tracing but I, I did put on like the stem of the flower and one identifying leaf because tulips have have um, I don't know if I'm, yeah that's the that's the stem to the one up here and that just grounds it a little bit and then I'll show you how I'm gonna we're gonna paint the background so that's it pretty simple huh and then all you have to do well it isn't it there's one more thing you gotta do what I've got now is I've got um, my clear gesso you can see that and you don't actually have to seal your drawing with clear gesso um, but Sometimes if you don't seal it, the it'll come through. Oil paint, if you've ever drawn on an oil painting board, sometimes people tell you not to draw with a pencil, draw with your paint or whatever. Um, and it's because the pencil lines tend, the lead in the pencil or something tends to bleed through the oil painting. So it doesn't show at first, but after the painting ages just a little bit, your pencil lines can come through. That's especially why we don't want to grid on the board using a pencil because then you really have a problem because the the grid lines come through the oil paint so um just a nice smooth layer of clear gesso will seal this and i just like to make sure i don't have any identifying lines and if you do the back and forth like this that just really helps and you just only need one coat that'll seal it just fine so there you go now you just need to let it dry and then you can start to paint, which we're going to do soon in August. I'm so excited. Bye.